Hello, I'm Steven, also known as the Calculator Guy, and I just want to do a quick overview of my Olympus Dow calculator. Um, I know this is a kind of complicated calculator, uh, and it's probably the one that I've got the most questions about, so let me show you how it works. Uh, like all my calculators, the blue stuff is what you edit, the green stuff, you don't. The green stuff is automatically generated. Let me make these bold just because uh, a lot of people mess these up, and then they have to re-download the entire calculator because they don't know how to um, re-input the formulas that were there. Okay, so blue stuff, edit, green stuff, don't touch, no touchy. Uh, right now, I think Olympus is like 980, which is amazing. So congratulations everyone in Ohm. Um, the rebase rate, let me check what the rebase rate is just so we have an accurate reading on that. Uh, I believe it's still the same um, because it was like, it, you know, that was the bottom rebase that it could be, uh, which means the price is up, which is good. Okay, yeah, 980 pretty much. Uh, the rebase rate is 3939. So this is where you enter the rebase rate. 3939, perfect. Uh, still three epochs per day. I think being $1 off is fine. So immediately you get this cool green stuff right here, right? The current worth of your holdings is $980. If you had two, it would be, you know, 1960, etc., etc. Uh, your daily ROI is 1.19%, weekly 8.61%, monthly 42.45%, which is crazy, and then yearly 7,304%. Cool. Uh, so that's these two blocks here, right? Blue stuff, edit, green stuff, don't touch. Here, same thing, green stuff, don't touch it. Blue stuff, you can touch. So if you want to check, like, you know, I don't know, 15 days out because you have some you have some purchase then that you want to see how much you would have by then you can do that right in 15 days you would generate $379 in profit so this is not how much you would have because you know that this is lower than this number this is how much profit you would make in that time you would make 0.39 ohm through the rebases uh, and so you would make $379 in profit uh, so your your total um, so your total, uh, I had to fix a formula there, your total would be uh, $2,339 after 15 days. Same thing with weeks, right? You want to look at half a year, uh, 26 weeks, boom, you can. Total, what you would have altogether, including the worth of your ohm, $16,700 from 2 ohm. Whoa! Uh, profit, just profit, $14,807. Assuming the price stays the same. Cool. Same thing with months. So these are all editable. Uh, I keep them at one default just because, you know, most will want to know one day, one week, one month, one year. Then I have the date targeter. So we've done this one, this one, this one. Let's look at the date targeter. Date targeter just means, you know, uh, how much will you have by that date? So I, I keep Christmas in there as the default just because of the big date that a lot of people think about. Um, we can also look at just next year, the first of the year, 1-1-2022. One, one, by then, your return on investment will be 166%. You will have more than double and a half your uh, ohm. Your earnings will be 3.332. So uh, if you have two ohm now, by new year, you will have 3.32 more ohm or 5.32 ohm altogether. Whoa. Uh, earnings total. So this one's very simple. Just stick in a date. You pop out some numbers. Income targeter. This is the one that confuses most people. It's really pretty basic. The income targeter just uh, it's a weekly desired income. So if your weekly desired income, let's say you want to have the average income of like the median American income just being generated from Ohm, like you want this to be a passive play for you, uh, and you know you're not super wealthy, then maybe you want a thousand dollars per week, which is I think a little bit more than the median. At a thousand dollars per week, you need 11.86 Ohm, and what that means is you keep 11.86 ohm and every week you take a thousand dollars worth of ohm right um, which will be I can tell you how much uh, with 11.86 uh, that would be 1.02 ohm I should have known that right almost almost a thousand 1.02 ohm per week that's what you would sell and then you would still have 11.86 at the end of that week so uh, now you'll see days until ohm is zero because we have that. But if you have two ohm, for example, 151 days until you compound to having 11.86 ohm. Let's say you want to take some of your savings or take some of your paycheck 
and throw it in there each week to get to like five. Well, look at that. Then you reduce that 151 to 73 days. Um, and it gets shorter and shorter each time because the rebases generate more. So date would be the day, the day, so like a little bit before Christmas, the, sorry, um, a little, like a month after Christmas. Uh, the day that you, no, sorry, again, a little bit before Christmas, totally right. Brain's a little fried. Uh, that is the date you would receive enough ohm to make $1,000 per week in profit. Uh, and you would be able to maintain this base level of ohm. You so right now your required initial investment to get 11.86 uh, ohm would be $11,000. So pretty cool, huh? With an $11,000 investment, you could start creating the median income of the average American, a little bit higher than the median income. So all of this is done. All of this is done. Now we're looking at <clears throat> the goal targeters. These are also pretty self-explanatory. Uh, one second. Hey, Benjamin. Sorry, my son just wanted to show me a really cool Lego, built he, Lego boat he built. Um, all right, so the goal targeter is exactly what it sounds like. It's just a USD goal. Uh, how many days until you reach a total investment of $10,000? Uh, let's make that even higher. Let's say $50,000. When $50,000? 197 days. So in 197 days, your total ohm accumulated, including your initial investment, will be worth $50,000 at the current price. Uh, ohm target. This is also pretty simple. Just how many days until you reach that target? Let's say you have a target of 21 ohm. Well, 120 days until you reach that through compounding. So hopefully this video was informative. Uh, it is the exact same as the time calculator. The only difference with the time calculator is that this formula still needs to get fixed. This should be um, this here. Now it's fixed. Uh, no, it's not. Wow. That should be a plus, and this C10 should be this number. There we go. All right, now it's all better. Uh, okay, so everything's the exact same, with the exception of the name and the icons. So uh, also, this needs to go to time. So really, if you're if you're nitpicky enough to where like you needed to not say ohm, the time one is available for you to use. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I try to get to the comments. Um, if you, as a commenter, see any questions you can answer and want to help out, by all means, I would appreciate it, but I will do my best to answer where I can. Uh, what I can't answer is, what do you think Ohm's gonna do in the next few months? I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a TA guy. If you want TA, talk to Professor Keith, right? If you know him on Twitter or Instagram, not Instagram, Twitter or Telegram, uh, then, you know, he's great, got good TA. Me? Eh. My TA is 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 not so good. Um, but I'm learning. So I can't tell you what the price is going to do. I can't tell you what's a good investment. All I can tell you is what the calculators say. Um, and, and that's it. So thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful rest of your day.